Hello everyone, I'm back with another video from the Android app from Scratch series. Uh, right now, if you remember from last time, we kind of built this little dialogue thing just to show you guys how an alert dialogue worked. I commented that out since we don't really need it right now. And we're also, we are messing around with uh, selecting a video from the gallery and recording a video just to add more features to our program. Well, right now, we, um, we seem to be able to get the path of the video um, but we need to be able to get that video and convert it to like we need to basically grab pretty much images of each video like a screen grab so that we can then combine that into a GIF format so in order to do that I am going to be using the Java Media Framework Library which is I found it was looking at a couple different methods I actually tried a, a previous one and it didn't really work out for me very well. I wasn't able to get it working so hopefully this one um, I'm able to get it working. Now I've already added the .jar files um, for the media framework but we still need to add them into our project so in order to add a, a jar to your project it's a pretty useful thing to do. You go to uh, properties for your project, Java build path, external jars and um, or add jars one of them is for uh, jar files that are outside of your project uh, and the other ones are for ones you've kind of put in your project and I've put them in my project so we can just add these three hit OK they show up here hit OK and they should show up in reference libraries so we can go ahead and save everything build the workspace it's taking a little bit of time I believe because I have a lot of other programs running Interesting. Seems we have some sort of error, but whatever, we'll get over that. Anyway, um, I'm just going to go ahead and clean the project. Okay, so I've created this video utility class where hopefully I'll be able to uh, do all the intensive uh, video conversion uh, activities and stuff like that. So I'm just going to be writing code in the um, constructor and I'm probably going to end up moving it somewhere else for now but for now I'm just going to write it here so well, let's make sure we pass the path to this just so we can use it so we would be calling this from we do video video utility Calling it like that. Looks like we're still getting that error that I'll have to figure it out later. I believe it has to do with these jar files, but we'll figure that out at some point. Okay, so we want to create a file object from our video path. Make sure you import that. And if we actually have the file, it's always good to check. And then we need to create a media locator object. And we need two URL. I guess two URI works as well. And media locator. Oh, it's locator, not locator. Yeah. What am I thinking? Media locator. All right. Point that. Let's see what this does. Yuri is undefined. I'm gonna have that a two string. There we go. All right. And now we have to create a media player. What's going to happen is, I'm, uh, this is the only way I can think of now is we're going to be basically playing the video, but not really like displaying it. And we're just going to be grabbing frames from the video. I might figure out a more efficient way to do this in the future, but uh, we're going to be create player and MF for our media. Let's change this to ML. So it makes a little bit more sense. 
Should import this. Um, of course, we had this round of try catch. Oh boy. Should probably end up surrounding this entire thing with try catchings. So try catch. Let's make sure to format this, make it look better. Alright. So we have our player. And then we do player dot realize what that'll do. I wonder if there's Java doc for this stuff. Nope. Alright. And while player that gets state does not equal player dot realized. And we're just gonna make sure that we actually uh our player is actually like realized, I guess you could say. And whatever that I am guessing that means like it's ready. Um but anyway, we want to now, I guess, get the number of frames. Because what we're going to do, I guess I should write down the steps. Uh, get the video. Get the number of frames. And then we want to, so say, uh, maybe we won't get video length. So we can figure out frames per second. And then... The user say uh, they'll provide their frames per second that we want, so we can then grab frames out of uh, the video based on what frames per second they provide. So now that we have our player and it's like set up, I guess you could say, uh, we have to find the number of frames. So. Um, let's go ahead and put this in a different method. Good practice as always. Private player get player. If f exists, else return null. Source format. Ooh, lagging a bit. So if player does not equal null, so we actually grabbed our player, then we want to get int. I guess we should do equals equals null. And then exit here, error, something like that. Um, so then we want to get number of frames, so and let's pass it in the player and again we can have our method. This we frame positioning control FPC equals frame positioning control player dot get control javex dot media dot control dot frame positioning control. There we go. Oh, that was a tongue twister. So import. Change this name, make sure this is the same, didn't misspell it, cool. And then, get duration, I'm guessing this returns uh, the time, okay, so I'm guessing this returns, it's just gonna 
change type of duration to time. I thought I did. Okay, maybe I imported a different time. Ah, uh, yes, I imported Android time. So let's go ahead and import that time. So we can probably actually get a... Uh, sort of get time because we might need this later and then create an int fpc dot map time to frame duration if and this should hopefully get the number of frames it's not equal frame positioning control dot Frame unknown. This is some sort of standard error message. Again, I'm reading this off of um, some documentation that I will link to in here. Actually, I can probably just bring it up now. Okay. Um, This way, when uh, you guys view this in the code.google page, you'll be able to see where I'm getting most of this information from. Frame positioning control. Okay, and return i, else return negative one. So, uh, number of frames equals equals negative one some sort of error. Okay, so let's go over what we've figured out so far. Uh, cool, it's only 12 minutes. Go away. Uh, we, were, we were able to get, uh, hopefully get the number of frames and the time. So we've gotten this and this and this and now we should be able to get um, somehow calculate the frames per second. Now, we probably want some sort of method that will get uh, the image of, say, a frame number. Um, so let's go ahead and write that as well. Uh, image, get image of frame. Get up the player number plus frame I'm just going to copy this because it's pretty much the same except getting a little lag here it's unfortunate frame positioning control then frame grabbing control FGC equals frame grabbing control. Um, and now we should just be able to, let's see, uh, fpc.seek frame number. So we're going to go to the frame number that we want to grab. And then we're going to grab the frame. Now we got to convert it to an image.
then we return the image. Let's import all this stuff. We want this one. And view format, I think it was actually video format, yeah. Okay, great. So now that we've written all this kind of, I guess, boilerplate code, we should be able to calculate um, the frames per second. So, let's see, where are we? So, number of frames. Okay. So, we have the number of frames, and we should be able to get... Well, we still have to get uh, the frames per second. So, let's see. So, we have time. So, time t equals get time player let's see what methods time has that we can get so we can get seconds which is good what's this return double so we can do double fps equals a uh, number of frames divided by seconds this should get us our frames per second if it makes sense <laughs> pretty simple so, I um, guess let's go ahead and uh, stop here and maybe debug this or something. I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and put a breakpoint here and just see what happens. Hopefully this works. Yes. This should pop up media tester. Oh boy. I forgot about this, that we had errors. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of a pause here and see if I can figure out this error so I don't waste your guys' time. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. I managed to fix the problem because two of the jars that I uh, had uh, imported were actually already included in a system library I'd added. Uh, so it was actually these two ones here, which I don't need anymore. So I'm going to delete them. Goodbye. Okay, so now I should be able to debug this. Let's go ahead and run this, bring up Media Tester and we will see what happens and this is probably going to be towards the end of the video figuring out what will work do, 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 do. installing starting excellent so i think we're just going to select a video here okay so Step through this, F5. We have a breakpoint in our main. Okay, let's see if this player works. We have a get player method, I believe. If F exists, which it does. Media locator, player, create player. Hmm. Oh, looks like we got some sort of exception. Hmm, interesting. I think this might be the problem here. Let's go ahead and add just video path. I think this I noticed this earlier and I should have caught it then. Make sure we actually print out that stack trace there. So we can see it without having to look at the AX because print stack trace will print to logcat. Man, this is notoriously slow today. Very unfortunate. Okay. Wow, really? Alright, save you guys having to wait through that. Now we're back up again. Selecting our video. Hitting F8 to go to the next line. Checking out this. Seeing if we can create a player based off this media file. Another exception. Hmm. All right, well, it looks like this is going to have to uh, continue into next 
the next tutorial. But right now I've showed you uh, how to import jars into your f into your project, and I've showed you a lot about uh, video conversion stuff, which I had no idea how to do before. And basically, after reading this really cool article, you, everyone should uh, check this guy out. Um, help me out, even though it's from 2008. I think it still applies here. And using this Java Media Framework, we're hopefully on our way to creating a pretty cool app. Uh, with Squackware signing out on this edition. And uh, make sure to check out the other videos on my channel. Rate, comment, subscribe, etc., etc. Squackware signing out.